to build on what Jesus has done. What are you doing? I'm killing the flesh. If only this flesh would just die. You are killing it every day, every year. You are killing the flesh. Killing the flesh. You know. What are you doing? I'm, I'm fighting all the devils. Every devil. All the devils. Every time devil. Today devil. Tomorrow devil. All the devils. These devils. Devils from my father's house. If they would just leave me. But it's fine. I will keep going. You see what? You would die at 100. The devils are not dead. They will still continue with your children. Tell me about authority. authority. Say, build on what Jesus has done. Imagine someone who is trying to now create internet. You sit down now, you gather people from all over the world, you say, come on, let's create electric bulb. You want to have 50,000 failures again. After everything Thomas Edison went through. Say, I'm not going to use any phone by Android. I'm not going to use any iPhone. I'm not going to use any... F- I must make my own phone. To take you a long time. Build on the roots. Hallelujah. Build on the roots. Take your roots from Jesus. He says, I am the root of David. Jesus is the least we should be. And it's funny because is also the highest we should be. That's why I said, I am the root and I'm also the offspring. He's quoting also, speaking from his scripture from the Old Testament. At least three references in the Old Testament. The offspring meaning also the fruit. So I am both his beginning and I am also what is ending. Hallelujah. Tell me what Jesus is my beginning. It's my beginning. And I think like I believe like him. I live like him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm the root. Tell me what Jesus is my root. Say Jesus is my root. Hallelujah. You imagine, are you, can you imagine now when the thorns try to choke Jesus? He said some seeds fell among thorns. So imagine all the thorns come together and like want to choke him. Who is choking who? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell anybody you can't kill Jesus. You can't kill Jesus. Great trees have their roots on Jesus. Amen. Great trees have Jesus as their roots. How do I know this? If you remember Psalms, where we began from, Psalms, I mean like in our teachings. Psalms, the first chapter, he says, blessed is the man that does not stand, sit, or walk, meaning whose roots are not among sinners, the scornful. He says, but his delight is in the law. Tell anybody his delight Delight. is in the law. He says, and upon it he meditates day and night. Then he says, can you go to Psalms, the first chapter, now the third verse. Then he says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the river. Why is it like a tree? Why is it planted by the river? What are the rivers? The word which he's been meditating on, which is delight on. And who is the word? Jesus. Am I not going to somebody? Let your roots be Jesus. Let your roots be what? Let your origin be Jesus.
Don't be that person who says, oh, you won't understand if you know what I've been through. What have you been through? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tap your neighbor say, what have you been through? What have you been through? Say, what have you been through? What have you been through? Hey, if I tell you, are you sure do you have time? Ah, if I tell you, are you sure you have time? I have time if it will make sense. But if it's not sense, you want to say, don't talk. Amen. I want, we want to hear things like, you know, have been through Jesus. Amen. I've been through Jesus. Not, you know, hey. Before coming to Ukraine. You know that. This is nonsense you're talking now. I know it makes sense to you, but it's nonsense. Because the time cometh when you become more mature. He said, when I was a child, I thought like a child. I, I acted as one. I behaved as one. I thought like one. He said, but then when I became a man, I did away with childish things. You no longer talk about you. You talk about him. Tell anybody, you no longer talk about you. You talk about him. Amen. He start telling, you know, like, you know, um, um, Jesus has been so good to me. You know, like, I mean, it's, you start telling about events with Jesus. This is what I've been through. Not through your story, but through his story. Am I talking to someone? You, you, you don't have time to talk about, you know, you know, you know, I used to drink, I used to smoke. Hey, me, ah, I have clubbed. If you know what, ah, you know, you know, you know weed. We have smoked weed. We have smoked. This is our eyes will be like this. You know, like, and the church, really, pastor? Ha! Pastor, yeah. Nonsense. Amen. Nonsense. Nonsense. Praise God. It will sound nice for baby Christian. It will be interesting to them. They are happy like, oh, you know, like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Tell them I have smoked Jesus. I smoked Jesus. Yeah. That's what you want to say you've been through. Praise the Lord. That's what you want to be through. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what you want to be true. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this guy is amen. Hallelujah. Christ in me. The hope of glory. Amen. Your speech, your speech becomes about him and all around him. Remember what he says. He says, if the roots be holy, the branches will be holy too. Suddenly, you, you're talking about what you've really experienced in him. Do you know what it means for a man to begin to go around different cities and write chapters and chapters and books and books from, you know, almost everything, sorry, almost everything we read in the Bible in the New Testament today where his experience, his sunesis of Jesus, his knowledge, his personal knowledge of him. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't hear him telling you about how he took somebody, you know, and, and you know, just one or two references of what he did, Paul did from the past. Don't, don't major on your past. Major on the, on the glory of Jesus in your life. Remember he says, they, will over, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. What you're talking about is for me your future. Every time you keep telling, talking about where you used to be, you know, where you used to be, you know, you don't understand, you know, my former relationship, you know, this one, you know, you talk about this one, talk about that one, talk about this one. Tell anybody, talk about the glory. Talk about the glory. Not your story. Not your story. Not your story. Oh. Not your story. Amen. Talk about the glory. Not your story. Hallelujah. Why do some people get depressed? They keep remembering their past. Sometimes, in fact, I don't even understand why people would want to remember their past. You know, you know sometimes, I'm, I'm sorry to say, and I say this very humbly, very humbly, and I don't mean to get at any person, but, you know, I, um, I've, I've, I've made some mistakes in my life. 
Okay? But many times, not as bad as some other people's cases which I've seen or heard. And even in my own case, I don't even want to talk about it. And I'll see some other people who are just okay and wallowing and swimming and living and living just living in, living in their past. What are you doing there? Get out. Tell anybody, get out. Get out. You made mistakes. Get out. Get out. Stop talking about it. You tell this person, tell that person, talk about this person, tell this person, tell this person, tell this person. If everybody now know you. Get out of it. Talk about Jesus. Amen. Tell, tell, tell that your neighbor. Say, say, I love you so much. And I care about you. But please, only tell me the things you want me to hold about you. Anything you tell people is how they'll see you. Amen. If you tell people, people won't argue with you. If you tell someone your name is Freke, they'll call you Freke. They'll never question it, even if it's not your name. That's what you told them. They have no proof anywhere that your name is really Freke. Who knows, maybe that's the name you chose in Ukraine. (laughs) Praise the Lord. But from that moment, they're going to see you as Freke. Mm. But if you told them your name is Emmanuel, mm. they'll also see you as Emmanuel. Yes, sir. What you tell people is how they'll work with you. Mm-hmm. Amen. What you tell the devils is how they'll work with you. The devils know too. If you tell them, hmm? if you tell them you are weak, there's no. D- in fact, they will make sure your name become weaker. <laughs> you know how people ch- change people's names. You know when you tell somebody your name is Freke, and someone will now look at you and say Frexy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see that kind of thing. If you give people, if you give them weak, the demons will call you weaker, and they make a mess of your life. You know, but w- when you give them. And you let them know you are not just from a certain place in Africa. But you tell them you are of the Lord. Let me tell you the truth. The devils won't argue with you. I'm telling you the truth. Some of you, you've not tried it. The reason, there are some things happening today. And, 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 and I wish sometimes God would just open, I'll, I'll conclude with this. I wish God would just open the eyes of some people to see how they are the cause of their own problems. Because of how you introduce yourself to the devil. Do you know if you tell the devil you believe your problem can come from your father's house, it will really come from there. Believe me, I'm telling you, you will find somebody in particular. If I somebody from your village will own up to be the one. Suddenly. Because you shall have whatsoever you say. And the day you make up your mind also to live above everybody. Knowing that Jesus has put all of these people in check, suddenly everybody will also work with you that way. You are not in their class. Tell anybody, Jesus is my root. Say, Jesus is my root. Jesus is my root. Say, Jesus is my root. You see, see, this is why David was able to enter into the house of the priest. And the Bible says, although he was not a priest himself, he took bread that was meant for priests only and he ate it because the high priest, Jesus, lives inside of him. And he did not die. Tell me what Jesus is my root. Say, Jesus is my root. Now, please, please, let's be on our feet. If not, I'll keep going. Now, this is important because now you will suddenly realize there is no place for sickness inside of you. Tell anybody there's no place for sickness in me. No place. Tell anybody there's no place. Place for sickness inside of me. Do you know that even your body will believe this?
the demons will, will believe it. There's no place. Say there's no place, there's no place. For, poverty for poverty in my life. In my life. No, 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 it's not possible. It's not possible. As you say it again and again, as you live with that consciousness, as you build your roots and tentacles, you find out that you keep going higher and higher and higher. Amen. Amen. So the next time someone asks you, what is your root? You should know what to say. Amen. Amen. Where are you from? <laughs> you, can, you can say something that the person will understand. But you know what you understand. You see, let people misunderstand you, but you never misunderstand yourself. It's okay for people to misunderstand you, but never misunderstand yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and thank the Lord for what you've heard. Go ahead and bless him for being your root. <coughs> Go ahead and thank him because with a great root now you can have a great tree. Ah, yazozo meketia pahashta. With a great root you are confident you too can become a great tree whose height reaches to the heavens like Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Understanding that Jesus has reached it you too can reach it. Father, I thank you. I thank you for a root like no other. I thank you because we are rooted not only in love, we are rooted not only in your church and in your house, we are rooted in Christ. Thank you because we know our roots. We thank you because Rooted in you, we can be underestimated by the enemy. The storms will come. The flood will come. But because we have a firm root in you, we are unmovable. All the days of our lives, we will not wither in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to pray the covenant prayer as it applies to David. Over 4,000 years after, the man of God, whose origin was from you, his throne that you promised him is still established upon the earth. You said none of your sons or of your son will be without the throne. Speaking, in making reference to Jesus Christ. Father, we just want to pray for ourselves also as children that you are raising in this generation that our kingdom also shall be without no end. Amen. Yeah. That the work you are working in us will be to the ends of the earth. Amen. And it will cut across times and generations. The thing you are doing in us will not just be a one generation thing. We shall not be local, but we must be global. We thank you because there is grace to live above the limitations of this generation. The mental strongholds that have affected others, let it cease and let it end. Amen. Father, we cause suicide. We cause every suicidal tendency. We cause every desire to die and end life like a fool. Not with you on the throne. We thank you because we have in you the ability to live a fulfilled life. You said, there is hope for us. I pray for any person who is depressed or struggling at this moment. Thank you because you are their solution. Amen. This weekend shall be beautiful for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Turn their mourning into dancing again. I pray for homes and families that are going through tough times. 
Homes that are at the verges of divorce. Let your glory shine again in those homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, because we do not want to repeat the mistakes of the past, I pray for this generation that you are raising, that they be learning and be more studious than the previous ones. That a different generation will come whose testimonies will be different also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I just want to pray lastly for every wrong seed that has been sown into the minds and the body of your children. Let every such seed die. Every evil seed, wrong thoughts, wrong desires, let it die. Everything that will corrupt their generation and their lineage, let it die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Adonai. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Quickly, let's dip our hands.